Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Force here, and today we will be taking a look at Shadow. This is a tower defense game that was developed and published by Akugi Studio. Here in this video I'll be taking some time to show you some gameplay as well as give you my general thoughts and impressions on the game, and I actually want to start off by talking about the story because I think this sets it apart from a normal tower defense game. So in its essence, this is basically just a tower defense game. You've got waves of enemies and you have to defend against them from basically destroying your home base. However, the game's story is that you are playing the role of a boy named William who has forgotten his memories. And as you work your way through the levels in the game, you are lifting what is called the Fog of Oblivion to help him recall things from his past. Now the unfortunate thing for William though is that his memories are pretty darn creepy. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of weird things going on in his past. This game definitely has an air of, uh, air of spookiness behind it that I think adds a little bit of interest and intrigue to it that may not otherwise be there. Uh, because really the game's tower defense mechanics might be a little bit lackluster. We'll let you judge for yourself though. Alright, let's go ahead and hop right into the game. Starting things out, what I'm doing here is placing down what is known as collector tower. So these collector towers are the resource gathering mechanic in the game. There's this little well of light and you place collecting towers around it to gather the light and you use that light as your resource. So the light is going to accumulate over time and I use this as a resource to place down towers. Now I've also placed down a couple of additional towers here. We've got a basic shooter tower uh, as well as this tower right here which is the puncher. And we'll go ahead and uh, look at those in detail in just one moment. Just want to make sure I'm all set for these incoming waves is all. Alright, so here we go. We've got the Collector Towers Gathering Light Resource. We're using that light resource to place down towers and defend against these memory snatchers, or whatever they're called, <laughs> from getting to this point here. So that's their spawn location. They go along a set path, and we set up towers around that path to try to destroy these things. Pretty basic in terms of tower defense. It's really your standard setup. You start off with the access to a total of four towers. You've got the first tower, which is the collector, again the gatherer here for the light resource. The second tower is a shooter, shoots basic luminous projectiles. Uh, this tower down here is the puncher. This actually slows enemies and does physical damage, so scattering these throughout is of course a great idea. And speaking of which, I'll be placing one right over here. And then we've got this tower right here that looks like a little heat lamp. This is actually known as the projector, uh, casting a continuous beam of light that damages all enemies it touches. This one does a little bit of an area of effect damage. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, we've got various enemy types that will come through. That first enemy type was a basic one. This guy right here, this is known as the, uh, the Raven, and actually he'll send out these little Raven packs. It will basically lower the vision of the tower. It says it causes the fog to recede or something like that. Let me click on it to see exactly. Temporarily reduces the companion's zone of light. There you go. So it causes the fog to pull back. It means that they've got less vision, essentially. That's the basics of it. All right, so we're going to place down a few more things here. Let's get another one of these, uh, what is this called again? The projector tower. Place one of those down. That's pretty good. So again, shooter tower, this is kind of your basic ranged attack. And then you've got the slowing tower. You've got the AOE tower. And we've got a, a big enemy coming this time. A little bit, little bit uh, obviously larger HP on this guy. Takes a little little longer to work work down. But, uh, you know, with plenty of slow towers, we should be all set here. In fact, I'm going to drop another slow tower right here, I think. I think that will be a good spot for it. All right, so again, there is a resource gathering mechanic, as I talked about in the beginning. Uh, you must place down these collector towers to gather the resource. Uh, every well of light in the levels has a set amount of spots around it. You can see the three locations around this one. I can't add any more collectors. This is the most that we're going to have access to here in this particular location. However, in the future, you can acquire upgrades for these towers, and then I could upgrade these individually up to three times. Uh, which of course will make them stronger and gather more resources, uh, the basic behind that. We're going to throw down another shooter tower right over here. Now something else you'll notice is that this fog all around, this obstructs me from placing down towers in that area, so I have to lift the fog or there has to be one of these things there, which is, I don't know, a little luminant plant or whatever that will uh, actually clear up an area around it. And these are just placed on the map to start. Like this one right here is actually where I started things out. All right, let's uh, focus here. We got a big wave coming through. Uh, let me get another shooter tower here. I think I, get a, I wanna get another one of the uh, projector towers in the future. There's also a speed up mechanic. 
Uh, you can hit spacebar and that's going to highlight this, which will make things go a little bit faster. So that's going to, it increases the resource gathering, it increases their speed as well. And basically what I tend to do is I just, I just drop it back down once I want to place down a tower. And then once that's there, speed it back up, and there you go. So back to crazy gathering. As you can see, you can zoom out here as well. Get a, a full view of it. Now, since this is the first level, it's pretty small, really. You know, zooming out, not, not really. I mean, there's not too much to see. You pretty much see everything you need to, even when you're zoomed all the way in. An incoming danger. This means a big dude on the way. Let me think here. Probably want another slow. Just throw that right over here. And then we're going to get a few more of these shooters. Just in case Big Boss happens to make it far. And let's speed this up here. With hitting spacebar. We should be A-OK -okay here. But obviously better safe than sorry. Make sure we've got plenty of stuff. Let me slow this down for a minute. Get myself one of these. Oh gosh. Well, that guy's going to get through. But... That's really not that big of a deal because I think that's the only one and then that'll be the end of the level. And there you go. All right, so first level complete. Uh, we now have got the basic framework of how the game works. Uh, and as we work our way through here, you're going to get to see more elements and more aspects of the gameplay. Memory protected. Get ready for a creepy cutscene. This game has lots of them. So see what I mean? Like, that's the memory we unlocked. It's like, that that looks like a terrible memory. I <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened, but that looks terrible. Uh, now, every time you complete a level, it unlocks a nightmare mode for that particular level. So either you can play through the levels multiple times and, you know, play through it initially and then play through nightmare mode, which is just a more difficult variant, or you can progress along through the story, which is what I'm actually going to do. I think if I worked my way through this game, I would just save Nightmare Mode until later on, you know. Uh, so that was that mo one memory, and we've got more coming up. All right. Oh, that's it. I remember something. Congratulations. We have succeeded in protecting this memory. He's your friend. Here we are. You're starting to recall things bit by bit. Go on like that. Oh, what's that? Did you hear this? I did. <laughs> oh, William. It looks like your drawing book. It's the book I drew all the ideas I had my mind on. Let's choose one among your numerous ideas to help us protect your next memory. Let's try a spell. All right, so this is a, I guess this is what we'll call like the progression mechanic in this game, uh, where you can gain access to upgrades for your towers. You can also eventually, you're gonna notice here there are different towers over here. You notice the silhouette is different from these ones here. So we're gonna be able to upgrade our towers and, and this basically will allow us to upgrade them in individual levels and again, gain access to new towers. There are also spells in this game. Uh, there's a handful of them. What is this, a total of 10 spells? Yeah, it looks like there are 10 spells total here. So these spells, there's another gathering mechanic that we're going to be taking a look at in the next level. Uh, and there's various spells to have. There is this protection one, which gains protection to companions. Companions are another word for towers. That, that's what they are. They're, they're called companions. They're like your pet friends or whatever, but they're basically just the towers. And then we've got a uh, go through the fog, which basically clears all the fog away momentarily, allowing you to place towers wherever. Earthquake, this does physical damage, uh, to points to the shadows vulnerable to this kind of damage, yada, yada, yada. Uh, then there's the boost the collection, which is actually the one that I'm going to get here, doubling the amount of collected luminous resource during 20 seconds. That's what I'm actually going to pick. Um, and then there's a few more here. We can take a look at that later on, but because after I pick that spell, oh, closes the, the book. book. lies dormant. As soon as a memory is saved, it must wake, I assume. 
All right, so now any time that I complete a level or save a memory, I'm going to gain access to the book again, and it will allow me to do additional unlocks. And you can see here, you can choose one of your book ideas to every memory saved and completed nightmare mode. Um, so doing nightmare mode apparently is also going to unlock additional ones of these. Now, they're going to let me see it. Yeah, it'll at least let me see it here. So there's also lethal memory, increasing luminous damage of memory during 10 seconds. So you can get extra luminous damage for your towers or your companions, as they call it. Stillness freezes during 8 seconds, uh, moving the shadows outside of the fog. And we've got wealth gives 30 luminous resource. Ooh, that might have been a good one to take too. Eh... I think the double the collection is pretty solid as well. I wonder what would be a better one to have. But anyways, that's the one I picked, whatever. Sacrifice steals 40% of life from all companions and gives 15% of life back to the memory. Uh, so what's going to happen here is this going to steal HP from your towers and gain 15% more HP to your home structure or your memory. Your, your basically your base that the enemy creep are trying to destroy. You can get 15% of that back if you start taking too much damage. Flash causes 25 luminous damage points to the shadows outside of the fog. And then Care gives 30% of life back to all companions. So casting these spells, we're going to be able to take a look at it in the next level and let's just actually go ahead and go right into it, shall we? So the next level is Cushion Mountain. Ooh. Uh, all right, so as you can see, point, uh, there's my home, my memory. There's the enemy creep area. We're going to start off immediately again by placing down our collectors. That is the first priority. Get that down as soon as possible. And that way, start getting these resources nice and early on. All right. So, there we go. Now, we're going to go over here. And uh, it looks like the furthest I can go down is right over here. That's the uh, closest I can get. So, we're going to start off with the shooter. And then I'm going to place down also one of these bad boys right here slowing plus physical damage and uh, why don't I get get another shooter actually and we're going to speed this up by pressing space bar alright so the next mechanic here notice this down here now so whenever one of these guys die look William in killing the shadows their energy can be retrieved there you go pick up quickly these pieces of shadow before they disappear all right, so whenever any one of these things die, their shadow drops. I can then pick up that shadow. Get one of these here. I can then pick up that shadow and it gathers right here. Once I have 30, I can use that spell. Now as you work your way through the game and you unlock more and more spells, you're gonna actually have more access to do various things. Right now, the only spell that I have access to is to boost the collection, the first spell that you saw me choose there early on. Uh, let me throw down another slowing tower right here. And we'll speed things up. All right, so whenever they drop, you got to pick it up. And also, it, it mentioned it, uh, it said it there. But if you wait too long, you'll actually miss things. Um, these things will dissipate over time. So that's something to definitely be aware of here. Hopefully, I get these guys. It'd be pretty crappy if I ended up missing this completely. Oh, gosh, no. No. All right. Um... I'm just going to let that go through. I'm not going to pull a tower all the way back there. That would kind of be a waste. Get another shooter right there. We're just going to let him pass through. And let's see. There's a little bit of area damage that comes through it. Might kill it in time. There we go. Perfect. Glad I didn't waste a, uh, any resource there on a tower. Hmm. Are these eggs? New enemy type. It looks as if we'll have to break their shells to get rid of them. Think of your companion, the puncher. So these guys you won't do damage to unless you punch through their shells. And I've got a couple of these punchers here, so we should be all set with that. Actually, I think I might want to throw another one over here. So just going to do a couple punches, breaks through the shell, and then it gets to the, uh, the weaker guy underneath. Pick up there. We're continuing to gather our shadow here. And there we go. All right, so let's speed this bad boy up here. Slow it down for the sake of placing another tower. And speed it back up. All right, 
slow back down because we're about to be able to get another tower and I'm gonna go for another shooter this one over here I'm trying to continue to push closer and closer here's the raven enemy which reduces our sight now let's pick this back up here yeah, actually I'm gonna want another puncher for sure put one right here this time oh gosh I think a few of these guys might get through this time see. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna place... You have collected enough pieces of shadow to cast a spell. There, I have. Indeed. Are right, gonna place another tower back there. I'm gonna do the boost the collection as soon as the next wave starts. Let's see if we get the kill here. There we go. All set. Okay. And I'm gonna throw this down right now, cast the spell. So it's gonna double my collection for 30 seconds. I'm assuming that just scales down when you speed it up and there's actually no advantage to speeding it up. I'm just assuming, at least. Um, but who knows, really. But that, yes, that does double my collection for the time period there. I'm gonna throw this guy down here. I'm gonna get another shooter over here. And the towers are being defended. Or what? <laughs> you know what I you know what I was saying. Do you? No? Yeah, me neither. Now the progression bar right there, that shows how far along in this level you are. Um Yeah, that's all there is to say about that. So each wave adds more to it. Once it's full, you're at the end of the level. That's that. And we're about to hit 30 again, which is good because this is a big wave coming in. So there we go, hit 30 again. Uh, go ahead and drop this here. And incoming danger. This should be the final wave, I believe. And let's speed it up. Slow it down real quick. Get one of these guys right here. And get one of these guys right over here. Collect more of this. Double our resource. And this is going to actually be pretty interesting because see, this guy's getting really far along. Which is a little bit of a concern to me. Even if he made it all the way, I mean pretty sure that it wouldn't matter. Pretty sure that we'd still win, but I do want to destroy him just on principle. I don't know that I'm going to though. Be close. Let's see. Last hurrah here. Oh god. Ah oh, well whatever. <laughs> I think he made it through, but it doesn't really matter. Level complete. All right. There you have it. So, got to take a look at that spell mechanic. And again, that's going to progress through the game uh, as you work your way through and, and we continue to level up and everything. We will gain access to more spells. And look, here's another memory. Again, super freaking creepy. <laughs> this poor kid. Maybe maybe, maybe it's a good thing that his memory is blocked. And when I, when I, when I first looked at this game, it, it made me think of like, you know how... You'll have repressed memories. Not, I'm not saying that I individually personally have them, but when something traumatic happens to people, that their memory becomes repressed in, in in some cases at least. And I'm thinking this is what happened to William. He had like this terrible incident, and we're helping him remember this awful thing that happened to him. I could be wrong though. I haven't progressed through the entire game, but it's not looking too good. All right, so now I get to choose to upgrade a companion or to acquire a spell. So we got my choice here. I could get another spell or upgrade a companion. Uh, I'm always, especially in any games that involve resource gathering, that is priority numero uno in my mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and start upgrading the collector. Uh, now this is gonna allow me to in-game upgrade him. So he'll start off at level one and then there'll be a way to upgrade him further from that point. 
Moving on to the next level set, this is actually going to be uh, incorporating two things here, which we can take a look at once it lets us mouse over. So there is the Traumatic Knight and the Blinding Lights. Again, just poor kid, awful memories. I'm uh, going to go ahead and hop in. We ju I just want to take a look at one more level just to show you how the upgrade system works. And that's going to cover essentially a majority of the game's, uh, majority of the game's mechanics. All right, so first priority again, let us get these collectors down. Now, I could upgrade them immediately. I'll go with that guy first though. And you can see I can upgrade these for 40. Um, I don't want to do that yet though because worried that this first wave will push through if I try to do that. So I'm going to hold off on a minute, but I can upgrade these guys to level two for 40 resource. Oops. Sorry about that. All right. So I'm going to wait till I get 80 and go with this one right here. Oh gosh, that is, this is a terrible spot for that guy because that is not even hitting a thing. That is not hitting a thing. A thing is not getting, oh, oh, what a terrible start. Let's restart this, huh? <laughs> that was just terrible placement. I did not realize uh, that that slow guy was not going to hit anything. Well, now I know. Don't do that. Don't place it there. <laughs> All right. One, uh, one more go at this. One more go around here. Get these bad boys first. Gosh, that was that was pretty terrible. All right, so this one first. And then we'll throw down a slow right there. Speed this up, get our resource a little quicker. And then I'm gonna throw down another one. Let's throw them right here. We'll see if this uh, this time it's any better. Some are still definitely getting through. Gosh darn it. Well darn it. Yeah, he made it through. Well, that's terrible. Terrible start. I might lose this. I kid you not. I think now's a good time to upgrade these. Cause I, oh no, maybe not. Well, there's a lot of guys here. There's a lot more guys than I thought. Oof. Okay, all right. Not bad, not bad. I think we'll be all set. Let's upgrade this tower here. Should be all set there. I'm gonna upgrade this one last one. There it is. All right, so now that these are all upgraded, I've got the maximum resource collection that I can possibly have at this point. And that is a good thing. All right. So what we're gonna do here, get another slow right there. This guy stinks, he does damage to my towers, and eventually that will uh, result in the tower's demise. So notice this guy getting hit pretty hard there. Drop down another lamp right there, and continue along here. Get another slow tower here too. There we go. Look at the floating chairs in the background. Definitely a creepiness behind this game. In terms of its tower defense, um, it definitely gets harder over time. But one major uh, issue that I have with this game is, I don't know, the lack of multiplayer. I really think that a tower defense game should have multiplayer, even if it's just cooperative. Uh, you know, not too long ago, I took a look at Tower Wars, which is, you know, that Tower Wars is also a tower defense game. Now maybe Tower Wars doesn't have sort of the story, the interesting and creepy story that this game has, 
Uh, but it has a lot of replayability in the multiplayer, and I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about a game like this that you wouldn't want to play through it more than one time. Because, the, you know, I guess you could best your score, but I don't even think there are leaderboards. I don't even recall seeing any leaderboards or anything like that either. So again, something that could potentially add to the longevity of something like this, but it's the lack of its presence uh, concerns me a little bit. It does. All right. Get the next wave going through here. I think I will pick up these right here. We get some bigger dudes coming through this time. The extra resources uh, being gathered is really phenomenal, to be honest with you. When I first uh, when I first started playing the game, I I don't think I utilized it enough, but the slow towers are really crucial, I think. Just consistently scattering them throughout. Definitely makes a big difference. I do declare. And we're going to be about halfway through this wave now. This guy right here. Got a lot of guys coming through this time. They're probably going to... Looks like they're probably going to kill a couple of these guys up here this time too. resource gathering going here. Yeah, they were able to get that one guy over there. Which we will replace right now. Now, there's no way to heal up your towers. You can sell them. Unfortunately, though, as time goes on, the more damage they take, the less they sell for. These guys sell for 12. This undamaged guy sells for 30. But yes, the, this game has, you know, it has some really, again, the story is pretty cool. It's a, uh, it's an interesting idea. I just don't know that the gameplay and especially the longevity, I'm a little bit concerned about how long this will last for someone. I'm not sure if I just said this, but it's, it is $10. Um, and again, you take a look at Tower Wars, like that, we, that I just mentioned, that we just took a look at not too long ago. That game's also 10 bucks. I think a game like that is probably gonna last someone a lot longer for their money. But I would say that, you know, if you're just a huge fan of tower defense games and you like also and you want to play various types, you know, this could be one worth checking out. It does have a, you know, a progression system in the sense that you can level up your towers and acquire spells and things like of that nature. Speaking of spells, just cast one of mine. This is actually looking to be a pretty uh, pretty easy victory here. few of these towers over here though. And probably another one of those. Oh, just so you know too, I can't believe I didn't mention this earlier. I'm accessing these by just hitting one through four. That's how I'm uh, getting to these. Picking which tower to use. Getting close to the final wave here. crazy. <laughs> These things are just getting obliterated. Not even a, not even a problem. Alright, so final wave coming through. Big dude. 
big, big, uh, that's a big one of the crow dudes, so he will destroy these towers. As he passes through. But again, I don't really think it matters that much. We're gonna be A-OK -okay here. Play it safe by getting some more stuff down, down the road over here. Obliterated. Man, that extra resource from those collectors, I tell ya, just gave me an abundant. For the win, and there you go, guys. So, that is a look at Shadow, the newly released tower defense game from Akugi Studio. Uh, this game was actually released on September 4th, which was just a couple of days ago. It's currently available on Steam. I do believe it is also available on Desora. And here's another one of our creepy memories. I'm not quite sure what this one means. Is that a chart or something? What was that? I don't know. Nightmare mode was unlocked for that memory. How excellent. There's one branching path here uh, coming up, which is actually going to display Another interesting aspect of this game, uh, which are mini games. They've got mini games that aren't your standard tower defense that we're playing in these first three levels. Now the first one here, uh, actually, let me take a, let me show you this really quickly too. Now, so this is one of the first mini games here, and th this is it's still going to be tower defense, but. It's a little bit altered in terms of there's no resource gathering this time, and this one in particular uses a card system. Uh, and th the mini games, I've played a few of them so far in the game, and there's all sorts of different ones. So this one is called Mystery Card. Choose a card among the three available. The Mystery Card hides a more powerful companion or malice. Protect the memory during uh, the allotted time. So what's going to happen is there are, you get to one at a time, pick a card of what type of thing you want to place down. Now. You can pick the mystery card, however one of two things are going to happen. Either you're going to get a powerful tower, more powerful than one of these standard towers, or you're going to get something that actually harms you. So I'm going to start off by placing down a few towers just to get, get the ball rolling here. Uh, just to make sure we're, we're protected here early on. There's no collection this time, there's just a allotted time slot over there that you got to try to make sure uh, you survive through, basically. But we're going to go with, again, we're going to start off with these standard towers. And just make sure we're, we're nice and defended here in the onset. And then I'm going to actually show you the mystery card. So what's going to happen is you're either going to get a, a, a buffed up tower, a higher level tower, which is obviously great, or you're going to get something that's bad for you. All right, so I start off with a higher level tower. Beautiful. So that's upgraded over the standard shooter. He's a little bit stronger. Now, let me go ahead and place down another one of these slow towers. And then we're going to try another mystery card. Now I got lucky in that first mystery card. It could be something bad. Let's take a look here, that is bad. Did damage to all of my towers. So it's a chance you're taking. You can you can get a stronger tower or you can get screwed. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna place down a few more towers to make sure we're safe and then we're gonna try another mystery card. I'm very wary of the mystery card for obvious reasons because it can be pretty horrendous if you're uh, hit with something that is not beneficial to you. Now, one of the other mystery games, just to give you an example of how they can vary and how they can be different, one of the other mystery games that I tried out was uh, one where there were towers preset on the map and they were all shut off, and you had to click on them to turn them on, and you could only have one on at a time. So what happens is the waves would come and you would have to, you know, at any given moment, at any given second, you would have to decide, hey, which tower is the best one to have on at this very moment. So that was pretty interesting. Again, that was a pretty... It's a pretty interesting different take on on this whole uh, tower defense thing. Let's get this thing here. And, oh god, these guys are getting through. I am probably screwed. <laughs> it looks like I'm screwed. These guys are getting pretty far along there. These guys are all making their way through. I am failing at the minigame. I haven't even... I tried one mini I, I tried one mystery card so far. Or two. Did I try two? Maybe I try to, but still. Not even without, yeah, gosh, it's so dangerous. All right, let me try one more mystery card here. This could be a big, big crappy situation. Oh, yes, yes, level three shooter. Yeah, I'll take that. I will certainly take that. That makes me feel much better here. Got a 
load up this last half. I think right here we're gonna try another mystery card. Let's see what we get. Oh no, that increases their speed, I think. Yes, it does. Oh no, no. Uh, freaking mystery card screw me over. Thanks a lot. You know, a couple more slow towers here. There's one. So yeah, just a little bit of a different take, a little bit of a different variation. We're about halfway through the time. I think you get the idea though, so we're just gonna go ahead and leave this. And that's gonna conclude our look here at Shadow. Uh, now the full game is available for $9.99 on Steam right now. It's currently discounted 10%, uh, so available for $8.99. There's also a collector's edition available. Uh, now with the collector's edition, you get the added soundtrack and it's one dollar extra so if you want to get the soundtrack of shadow you can pay an extra dollar and get that as well uh, let me mention some of the game's key features as listed on steam a unique tower defense i'll give them that it is unique captivated captivating reverse narrative so again starting with no memory and trying to uncover it over time yeah i guess that kind of makes sense great freedom of action and tactics that's a little bit debatable. Uh, the game is very simplistic and straightforward. They've got the spells, uh, the towers, I don't know, I don't know. I guess there is, you know, freedom of where you can place down towers for the most part, as opposed to a grid setup like Tower Wars has. Uh, also, procedurally generated fog for those of you who care about that, and awesome boss fights which are those last head guys that you saw in a couple of those levels. All right, guys, once again, that is Shadow. Take a look at it on Steam if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Keep watching and keep owning.